like that. So I really didn't have a voice, you know what I'm saying? And it was because of my mentor, my uh, my other mother, she walked me through that, you know, to break those insecurities and be able to find out who I am as a person. And I found out that I'm a high energy person, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. I just had different things, different roadblocks from, you know, coming up, growing up, situations I've been in that kind of put, you know, me in a shell. But once I started dealing with those life, those real life issues, I discovered myself and I discovered that I'm a high energy person. <laughs> so I love, I, I me, one thing about me, if you, if I see something and I put my stamp on it, it's from the heart. Mm -hmm. Anything that I see that is fire, I'm putting more fire to it because I want that person to know like, this is fire. Like, keep it going, keep it coming. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I, I just love doing that. I love being in the mix of promoting, pushing, encouraging. You know, if I was in the church still, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like one of them ministers that's trying to get the people like, come on people, you know what I'm saying? And do what they need to do, you know what I mean? <laughs> but you know, I, I, I got street ministry, you know what I'm saying? So yes. I, yeah, I might not be, you know, uh, active minister or nothing in the church, but I got street ministry. So my street ministry bring people together. You feel what I'm saying? So oh, yeah, no. I, I love it. I love it. So let me ask you this. So you were born in D.C., correct? Yes, born and, and raised in D.C. And then you moved to Maryland. How old were you when you made that transition? Oh, I just got to Maryland. I got to oh, Maryland really? in 20, 2018. No, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you got a lot from it. Don't forget to click the link below for my special discounted price.